Hey guys, Legendary here, and this is my Nintendo Direct bingo card, as you can see. That's something I just sort of slapped together last minute. It's the day of the Direct, it's actually 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, for me it happens, I think, at 5 o'clock Eastern. But yeah, I figured I would just slap together this uh, fun little thing here. I'm not the originator of Nintendo Direct bingo, it's been around for a while. But uh, I figured I would just have some fun with it. Uh, things that might happen, things that probably will happen, things that have absolutely no chance in hell happening. But yeah, let's just get down to it. Uh, the way I'm going to do this, I'm just going to move each uh, each slider over a little bit because that's how I have it set up. So my first prediction, I think very obvious. We're going to get more details, more footage from the Super Mario Brothers movie. Uh, it's nothing new. They've done this for the last, I think, two directs. But yeah, that's <laughs> that's basically my thoughts on that. You know, Miyamoto's going to show up. He's going to say, here's this cool guy, Chris Pratt and Seth Rogen. They're having a fight. What am I going to say? It's a Mario movie. <laughs> Uh, so next up we got more N64 games added to the Nintendo Online service. This is probably going to happen. I mean last we got the 007 uh, remaster, whatever. <laughs> it's not really a remaster, it's just kind of on there. Uh, it was a weird situation between them and Xbox and whoever owns the uh, Bond franchise. But something else is going to happen. Some other uh, game that people have been waiting for is going to show up. I don't keep track of every single N64 game that gets added so I don't know what could be next. Uh, maybe Perfect Dark if it's not already on there, Donkey Kong 64, probably make an appearance eventually, maybe. <laughs> I know people out there want it. Anyways, uh, the next one is new hardware. It's not going to be a Nintendo Switch. It's going to be some weird Nintendo thing, but it's not going to be a Switch. Uh, it'll be like the Legend of Zelda uh, Game & Watch system that they brought out for the anniversary. But <laughs> I can almost guarantee they're not going to have a successor to the Switch. Maybe another like OLED special edition model. I think there was one that got leaked for The Legend of Zelda, but again, it won't have new stuff inside of it. And next up we have Xenoblade Chronicles 3 DLC. Bound to happen. I haven't played the game, have no idea about it. I've tried to get into Xenoblade so many times. It's not a franchise for me, I think. It's just way too much dead time, open space, and way too much confusing stuff in the middle of combat. You know, 80 hours, 100, 120 hours, however long. Not really for me. I've tried. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. The revival of a dormant franchise. Something that hasn't been around for a while. Star Fox, uh, F-Zero, who knows, Palo Wings maybe. Nintendo's pretty, pretty well known for like, not doing something for a very long time and then just randomly putting out, hey, we made a new addition to this game that you really loved 30 years ago. <laughs> Anyways. Moving on, next we got new Mario Kart 8 DLC courses shown. The course packs have been going for a while now. I'm sure they're gonna show something from the new courses, uh, stuff from Tour that's gonna move over, stuff from the other old games. Uh, again, another thing I haven't really kept up with, they have like so many courses already. <laughs> it's too much to keep track of. Next, some kind of reminder of Bano Origins, uh, Cereza and the Last Demon. Uh, it's supposed to be coming out, I want to say, in the next couple of months uh, sometime. Not totally sure. I know they want to remind people of this game because it doesn't seem like it's a huge, huge game. It's a prequel to the Bayonetta games. Uh, it's completely different gameplay-wise. People probably need to be reminded that it's coming out soon because it has not had a lot of marketing. I think it's only shown up at one reveal. So anyways, next one. Now this one's kind of getting sourced from a leak that might have happened, or a uh, change in the eShop's prices. Uh, but Nintendo Switch games price jumping to $69.99 USD. I'm pretty sure it has accidentally been uh, shown in the eShop for uh, Tears of the Kingdom pre-orders. So I think that's probably a shoo-in. Uh, anyways, the next one. We have Splatoon 3, new content or paid DLC of some form. Uh, they did it for the first two games. They had like big campaign stuff. I don't know how much they're gonna already have available. Probably gonna have more Salmon Run stuff. I don't know if they're gonna have like a massive campaign ready to go. That might be a little bit. Uh, next up we have Pikmin 4 Detailed. Uh, this game apparently has been finished for a very long time. They might have had to like go back and rework some stuff, but yeah, I think uh, Miyamoto got quoted as saying like, oh yeah, Pikmin 4 has been done for a while. They've shown like a couple of screenshots and like, I don't know, 10 seconds of footage of absolutely nothing happening. Give some hints about what might be happening. There's like a, uh, a stopwatch on one of the fences next to some enemies. Uh, so it might have something to do with like time of days getting changed, stuff like that. I have no idea. Not huge into Pikmin either. Pikmin's all right. I'm just not really an RTS guy. Next we have, this is another thing that's been long rumored, uh, the Metroid Prime Trilogy HD port. 
the remaster of the first Metroid Prime. Uh, it's got to come out soon. Metroid Prime 4 got announced, I think, five years ago now, four years ago, somewhere around there. It's went through apparently development hell. They had to like completely restart development. They got to have something to be a stopgap between now and whenever that game comes out. And these have been on the back burner for a long time. Uh, people have been wanting them because there's been no way to play them since I think the Wii. And you know, people want to get caught up on the story, caught up on what's happening in the world. Uh, Dread came out, what, two years ago? Uh, came out to critical praise. I think it's time for this game to come out, uh, this set of games to come out. Moving on, next we have a 2D Mario game announced. Uh, it's been a very long time since we have a uh, 2D Mario game. Uh, I think the last one was New Super Mario Bros. U, which got remastered for the Switch, probably. I'd have to look into it, pretty sure it did. Yeah, 2D Mario is in a weird place where it sells a whole lot of copies for some reason compared to the 3D ones. And with the new movie coming out, they would be really... <sighs> I don't know. I don't want to say stupid. That would be harsh. It would be awkward not to capitalize on, I feel like. Uh, anyways, next up we got... It's a free space. Yeah, Mother 3, it's never gonna happen. <laughs> it's never... It's never gonna... It's, it's never gonna come to Switch, or whatever the successor is. <sighs> anyways, next up. Another farming or life sim. <laughs> the last direct, I think it was the last one, uh, had like, what, eight of them in it? It was crazy. Uh, left a sour taste in a whole lot of people's mouths because they were expecting big things and got farming simulators. Not much to say here. Uh, next up, we had the announcement of another direct announcing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC, which will probably be sold separately. Yeah, this is weird, uh, the way the Pokemon company does things, they're kind of separated from Nintendo. So they're going to announce a Pokemon Direct sometime in the following months, talking about the Scarlet and Violet DLC that's going to be coming out later on this year. Uh, there's been rumors, there's been uh, some leaks, some digging into the code, suggesting that there's going to be more than one DLC, probably more than two DLCs, like Sword and Shield had. We will see. It's still probably a Quite a ways out, I would say at least a couple months for the first DLC pack. I feel like they had a lot of work to put in to fix all the bugs and stuff. We'll see. Definitely before holiday we'll get something. Uh, anyways, next up. Some kind of new cozy indie game that nobody knew they wanted until now, but now they want it really, really bad. <laughs> uh, this you know, who knows. Uh, Nintendo puts out like these random cozy indie games uh, out of nowhere and everybody latches onto them. Anyways, moving on. The crushing reality of game dev. Here's the kingdom delayed again. Uh, I don't think it's likely. There's a possibility. But this game has been put off so long, they put so much time into it. Uh, at this point, I think it's ready to be shown. Hopefully we get to see something. It'd be really awkward if we didn't. Uh, but I really, really hope it doesn't get delayed. Uh, moving on. A new 3D Mario game announced. It's gotta happen eventually. Uh, Mario Odyssey came out, what, in 2017? It's been so long, there's been, you know, nothing except for Bowser's Fury, which is definitely a stopgap, it was really experimental. Uh, it was cool, but it was not a full new game. My take on it is, it's gonna be something super, super awkward. <laughs> it's gonna be something only Nintendo would do. It'll be like Super Mario Sunshine 2. I don't know how many people would like that. I liked Sunshine. I thought it was okay. It wasn't my favorite game, but it was okay. <laughs> I, I don't mean to curse you with that knowledge. If that's actually what happens, please don't blame me. Not my fault, please. Next. A new Tears of the Kingdom trailer. Uh, you know, I talked about it earlier when I was talking about it being delayed. Uh, something's gotta give. I feel like this is the time. This is the big direct. It's gotta happen. This game comes out in May. It is less than 100 days away at this point, And we know almost nothing about the story. I think going into Breath of the Wild, we barely knew any anything as well. But at least we knew, you know, the basic concept. Uh, Link woke up from a 100 year nap. Ganon has given up on resurrection and has taken the form of the Calamity and has sealed away the princess in the in the castle we gotta go break her out and kill Ganon this one we know almost nothing about uh, we have seen I think two trailers uh, one of them's just you know very basic we see Link and Zelda going down into a hole we see a dusty dry uh, Ganon body that's being held in place by magic we think and then uh, Link gets his hand covered in a weird thing that makes it all gross and Zelda falls down a hole that's all we know <laughs> 
Uh, there's not much to say about this besides that. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom is coming in May. Hopefully it's out by then. It's not delayed. Uh, next we have some kind of Metroid Prime 4 info. Uh, I was talking about when we mentioned uh, Metroid Prime Trilogy HD remaster, remake, whatever. Uh, Metroid Prime 4, it's been in development for I think, what, five years? They had a completely restart development. I think we need to hear something eventually or people are just going to lose faith that this game exists at all. We have seen no footage, we have seen no screenshots. The only thing we have seen is a logo with the number 4 and that is disheartening to say the least. Have faith that Retro will pull some miracle out of the hat. They're masters of their craft, we rarely get to see them, haha, <laughs> rare. <laughs> it's time to see Metroid Prime 4. I don't know if it'll be uh, in this direct, because we already have Tears of the Kingdom. I think now would be the time for the trilogy stuff before Prime 4 starts coming out. That's probably gonna be closer to holiday time or next year, I think, when they uh, start announcing stuff about Metroid Prime 4. We'll see. You know, this is a prediction, it's a guess. I'm sure some of these will be wrong, some of these will be completely out of left field, and will happen. We'll see. The Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker, and Twilight Princess HD ports uh, for the Switch. They have been on the Wii U forever, they're some of the last bastions of games that have not been ported over. Uh, it would be a shame if they got stuck back there because, uh, you know, having all the Zelda games in one place is really nice, and it's really convenient. I kind of hope that they do move Wind Waker over, Wind Waker one of my favorite games ever. They have both versions accessible because I like the rendering in the GameCube version better. That might be controversial, I don't think it is, but the the cell shading in the GameCube version was so much better. Uh, I feel like there's like 200% bloom lighting in the remastered HD version for the Wii U. I, I was not a huge fan of that. I would like all the quality of life stuff to come over, like the, uh, the sale that made things faster, uh, less going around trying to get the parts of the Triforce shards, but I hope these happen eventually. Having the whole family together, all the Zelda games. Uh, next up, we have uh, something that is almost a given. Some wacky new Nintendo IP or toy. It's bound to happen. They always think out of the box. They always have some weird thing you would never think of, like Nintendo Labo or uh, the recent uh, Mario Kart. I can't remember the name of it, but Hot Wheels also just announced a thing that does the exact same thing where you have a physical cart and you set up a course in your house and you can roll around uh, the course that you make out of your house. Really cool technology. Something, again, that is really, really wacky, really weird. But it's also really cool. <laughs> uh, Nintendo is always pretty good at making really cool toys. Uh, next up we have Fire Emblem Engage DLC announced. Uh, it might be a little bit too early. Fire Emblem Engage just came out. Again, I'm not a huge fan of Fire Emblem either. I feel bad. I'll feel like I'm down all these JRPGs. I am a fan of JRPGs, just not these. <laughs> Yeah, Fire Emblem Engage had a pretty rough, not a rough launch, but rough standing with most of the fan base. I feel like they felt like it was way, way too simple, way too simplified compared to uh, the more recent ones like Three Houses. And uh, Engage is going to need some love eventually. I think it might be a little bit too early. Uh, I'll just put this here because it's a prediction. Who knows? It's one of the more obvious things on the board. Anyways, next up. Some of the people wanted for a really long time. Uh, Game Boy Advance and Nintendo GameCube games added to the Nintendo Online service. Uh, the 64 has been out for a while. They've gone through most of the games library at this point. They're running dry. Uh, eventually they're going to have to move on to the newer stuff. Having the GameCube stuff on a portable system would be amazing. Access to some of the coolest games that ever came out in the mid 2000s. Uh, Game Boy Advance, again, really cool games. You can emulate most of those at this point without too much hassle. But again, having them all in one place on the Switch would be really cool. Uh, and lastly, we have Advance Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp Release Date or Shadow Dropped. I feel like um, either of these or both of these is possible. <laughs> Obviously, if Shadow Drop happens, that's the release date. It's... I don't want to get into the details, but that's been happening for a while now. It's an unfortunate situation. Uh, this game finds itself in an unfortunate situation as well, where it's stuck right in the middle of... Uh, you know, not wanting to be in those headlines. Uh, Nintendo releases a game about wars when that's happening. That's not something they want to be a part of. I feel like now is probably the best time they have. There hasn't been a whole lot of stuff happening that has grabbed headlines at this point that hasn't already been said. And I feel like it's definitely time. Uh, they've had on the back burner and just have not been able to put it out. And that's really sad for the developers, everybody else involved. Uh, but anyways, yep. These are my predictions. Uh, it's not all my predictions. I have a couple left 
I'm gonna go ahead and read off here that didn't really make the board because they're not really feasible. They're more of once than they are predictions in some cases. I have stuff like a Donkey Kong game of some kind, maybe getting announced. Uh, with the Mario movie coming out, it's been a very long time since we had anything Donkey Kong related except for Tropical Freeze and then the re-release on the Switch. It feels like yeah, the franchise could use some love instead of just being attached to Mario all the time. Uh, another thing I would really like to see, uh, it's not really a prediction, it's a want, uh, Switch getting Discord integration. It's not something I see a lot of people tossing around, but way back before PlayStation bought Discord, way back before they did the deal with Xbox, and they have their integrated services now, uh, Discord basically reached out to Nintendo and said, hey, please let us develop a third-party app to put on the Nintendo Switch that you can use for your party system. Because Nintendo's online and non-existent party system has been a nuisance since the Switch released. It feels like the console is trapped in the year 2000. Uh, they didn't really understand how the internet worked. It feels like Nintendo still doesn't understand how people want the internet to work. It just needs... Ooh... Switch needs something, <laughs> something for online play. Uh, again, another want, um, themes for the Switch. We still haven't seen any of those except for dark mode <laughs> since the Switch came out. It's been five years. How, is, how have they not added themes yet? The 3DS had hundreds of themes. Uh, it feels like a joke, but it's not, unfortunately. We might get Mario Party DLC for the newest Mario Party. I don't remember the name of it. I didn't actually buy it. A lot of people are saying, uh, I think it only has five courses, five maps. Feels really, really small. And of course, most people think only two or three of them out of the five are actually any good, so that's all they play. And the game could have legs if they actually gave it legs. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Finally, I'm gonna tell you right now, do not get your hopes up. There's not gonna be anything for Smash Brothers at all. Uh, Sakurai has already said they're done with the game's development. Uh, he's moving on to whatever his next project is or projects. I feel like we won't get more Smash Brothers for like another five years and then somebody else will take the reins. It'd be nice with Sakurai. I don't I don't think it will be because at this point the man has had enough. He needs a vacation. He started up his own YouTube channel. Hey, hey Sakurai. Hope you're watching. Not really. You're definitely not watching. But yeah, uh... This is my bingo card right here. This is what I'm going to be following along with when I'm watching the direct. Uh, later on, I'm going to try to get the reaction out. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you guys have your own bingo card set up like this? You know, play along. Feel free. Play along with me if you want to. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. All right. See ya.